be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. Y'all, I'm about to go ahead and jump right into this vlog. I am feeling so good, okay? I am in really good spirits. Today has been an amazing, productive day. It has been. And it wasn't nothing to see earlier. So everything to see is going to happen from this point on. So all I've been doing is working. I went through my morning routine and I've just been working. So it's almost two o'clock and I need to take a break because I haven't eaten anything. I made some tuna steaks and some kale the other day. So I'm going to have that. Um, and what else? I need to go to the store, buy me some flowers. I'm going to show you all my flowers. My flowers are dead, dead. I'm holding on to them because they're my birthday flowers for my parents. So it's time to replace them. I need that, some flowers. And I also need me some high protein foods, like some snacks and some other stuff that I decide to get while I'm there. So um, because I'm not eating nearly enough protein and I need more protein in order to hit my fitness goals. So I need to go do that and take care of that. Um, so what else? What else? Y'all, I just, it's just whew, working. I'm just glad I made myself stop working so that I can get up and eat. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to get like a hunger headache. You know what I mean? So there's that. I think I'm going to take y'all with me to, I got some stuff I got to do for my documentary. Um, and also work out. Let's work out today. It's time to work out. We need to move our body. All right, so those are the things I'm doing today, and I'm taking y'all along with me. So let me show y'all these flowers. All right, y'all, so these are the flowers, my birthday flowers. Y'all, I should have been let these go. Okay, they are done. But my parents got them, so that's so special and sweet. And I'll tell you something else. I um, deep cleaned my room, like, a little bit after my birthday, and these flowers just set it off in my room. And I promised myself that I was going to buy myself flowers every week or you know whenever the flowers die get some more bring them in or whatever so it's time and this is just something that i'm glad i'm doing for myself but also while i'm here y'all let me let me point something out real quick let me point one thing out really really quick all right y'all so let me point this out real quick about myself um i noticed this when i was working i looked over my shoulder and i was like girl that is too much okay so if you come to the live streams one thing i always have with me more than likely is chapstick and if I don't have it when the live starts, I usually will get up and go get it. Y'all, this don't make no sense, okay? So I have chapstick in here. There's six in here, six, okay? I have six that are open and I have six that are unopened, okay? So I have this one. Oh, it's, it's yeah, six of them. I got three, three Carmex. And then I have two Blistex, okay? I don't know what it is and I don't know when this started. But when we go to the store today... My goal is not to reach for chapstick because I will just buy it. Anytime I see it, I just buy it. So I just wanted to point that out about myself. And I'm going to work on that because clearly I don't, I don't need no more chapstick. I don't. And I know it's like for me, I'm like, it's only a dollar. I don't need to spend it if I don't need it. So I'll let y'all know what happens to when I check out. Okay. All right, y'all. So I just got in the car. It is time to hit the grocery store. I think I'm going to go to two grocery stores. I believe I am going to Stater Brothers and to Sprouts. Stater Brothers has this yogurt I want. This yogurt, it's like a strawberry Greek yogurt. And I think it's like 15 grams of um, protein in each little container. They also have a protein powder that I like. I think that's all I'm going to get there. And then Sprouts, I want to get a bunch of vegetables. I love their produce. I think I want to get some salmon if they have it. Um, some hummus. And then whatever the snacks they might have that are just high in protein. So I'm going to see. You know, I'm going to explore, see, ask questions, see what they got in stock. And hopefully I can try some new things out. Um, and I also wanted to mention this too, y'all. I am having a really hard time getting acclimated to like going out to do stuff. Like going out to run errands. I just don't feel like doing it anymore because of everything that's been going on. It takes a lot. Like I, it takes me days to go to the store. Like look at my flowers. I should have replaced my flowers like, I don't know, four or five days ago. But I just kept on making an excuse on why I couldn't go to the grocery store. So... I'm going now because I have to go, you know, I really want new flowers and I really do want to, you know, pick up some more snacks and some food and stuff with, you know, that's high in protein, but I'm having a hard time getting acclimated, which is very strange because I used to love going out the house, you know, getting out the house whenever I could running around whenever I could, but now I'm in the house and I like it. I love it. Maybe a little too much, but, um, I just realized that about myself. So anyways let me know if anybody else is struggling with that that you're just content being at home you know what i'm saying like i have my moments of solitude all of my work is in the house so i'm cool like i'm really good being in the house but um anyways let's get to the store
All right, so we are all done with Stater Brothers. It is now time for Sprouts. And y'all wanna say, I met the nicest lady in the line. Like she was so nice. We were talking and then she was like, I love your flowers. They look so fresh. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm trying to buy myself flowers. Like, you know, every week, every week and a half. She was like, oh, I wish I would have done that more when I was younger, when she was an older woman. And we were just like talking and she was so sweet. So honestly meeting her made it worth it to come out of the house and um, come pick up these couple of things that I needed. So let's go ahead and get the getting, let's get the sprouts and get back to the house. All right, so don't kill me y'all but i didn't vlog while i was in sprouts and i got a lot of stuff too so now this is just a grocery haul at this point <laughs> uh, so when i get home i'm gonna show you everything that i got from both stores and i'm gonna do a protein check too i feel like i got some really good things uh with a good amount of protein in them so i'm excited about that mission accomplished um like i said the rain is coming down it's not coming down hard but you know like i said i just went in there and got focused i had my earbuds on i was playing music i was talking to people so i didn't vlog but that's all right though y'all still gonna see the goodies that i got and um yeah so let's go back home all right y'all i made it back from the grocery store this is everything that i picked up let me give you a close-up so we got some salmon got some tuna steaks um so we got some yogurt we got some lettuce to make some wraps also y'all look at all these artichokes i bought eight artichokes i'm hooked steph has me hooked when I was at her and Tasha's house the last time, I tried her grilled artichoke and it's incredible. Like I have never purchased artichoke before in my life, but listen, I'm about to go in. All right. So I got some protein powder, spring mix. It's my first time trying this. Uh, it's lion mane's mushroom crumble. It includes lion mane, lion's mane, portobello, and shiitake mushrooms. So I'm excited about trying that. Blueberries. We got some tofu. Um, oh, I picked this up as well. Cauliflower pizza crust and wraps. You get two in each pack, and I got two of them. Got some mushrooms, some mozzarella cheese, some veggie broth. I got some flax milk, some sweet potatoes. I got some goodies here just for my immune system. Well, for me and my family, it's for our immune system. So um, if you looked at my previous um, video, I showed you like when I do my morning routine, I usually have lime water. It has sea moss in it, like warm lime water, sea moss. And I think you saw me put echinacea in it. I usually add burdock too, but I had ran out. And this ginger elderberry immune um, syrup. I have a syrup that I take is usually elderberry by itself. So when I saw this with ginger in it, I was like, yes, I got to have that. So this is stuff that's a part of my morning routine. Um, I got some broccolini, some limes, some red bell peppers, and we got some pizza sauce so that I can make the pizza. Now let's go ahead and do a quick protein check, okay? Because remember my whole goal was to get something, you know, get food that was kind of high in protein because I want to eat like 95 to 100 grams of protein per day. So the salmon, the salmon has, come on now, focus. <laughs> the salmon has 23 grams of protein. That's per piece. Um, the tuna steaks are 29 grams. So the other tuna steak that I have was higher, and that's fine that this one is lower. That's okay, too. That's still a lot, though, 29 grams. Um, this, the yogurt, 15 grams, like per yogurt. Um, for the protein shake, it is 30 grams, 30 grams per serving. I love that it only is one gram of sugar. Um, this lion's mane has a good amount of protein, too. This is nine grams of protein. Uh, the tofu is 10 grams of protein. These cauliflower pizza crust and wraps, 10 grams of protein. I did pick up the flax milk that had the protein in it. So this has eight grams of protein. Let's see, what else? Did I get everything? I think that's everything. I mean, in cheese, cheese has a little protein in it as well. So this cheese has six grams of protein. Yeah, six grams. So I think I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good in terms of like increasing my protein intake. All right, y'all. So the groceries have been put away. I got rid of the old flowers. Got some fresh water. We are back in the game. I cannot wait till tomorrow, you know, when day breaks and it's a nice, beautiful day outside so I can really see these flowers shine. These are beautiful. 
these are really really nice i'm glad i got these i can't wait they just gonna light my room up and set it off so now it is time to get busy on this documentary um still waters never crash shout out to the crew courtney and sherica um <laughs> this is the first day of filming y'all we started filming on december 23rd 2019 so this is the entire film and um I don't know. It's like I feel kind of emotional about like watching it and everything. So I've watched it one time and now I'm about to watch it again and leave um, some comments, you know, for some maybe some small tweaks. We got to make some adjustments, um, but we're moving in the right direction. This thing is going to be done and finalized very soon. Once we're done, we're going to send it over for scoring and also sound because um, you all know how it is. Music really brings a documentary alive. So I'm excited. So I'm going to sit and watch this whole thing. It's our I'm wearing some change right now. And um, like I said, and just make some comments. So I can't wait to be able to deliver this to the world and get it, um, you know, get it into some of these film festivals. I'm excited about where this film is going to take us. All right, y'all. So I want to show a very quick clip of the film. You know, I'm very proud of this movie. All of us are. The entire crew is. Like we really put everything we had into this um, and just a quick description. So Still Waters Never Crash is a documentary about the life of Dr. Sherika Miller, which is one of my friends. And she's an amazing person. She really is. And I'm so glad that we got a chance to tell her story. Like, you know, so many of us don't get that chance. So I'm glad we got to tell her story. It's going to touch a lot of people. A lot of people will be able to relate in this particular scene. Um, we're at her former foster mom, Brenda. We're at her at Brenda's house. And her mom was also there. So Sherika's mom came. Sherika's daughter was there. So it was just this really like emotional full circle moment. And we're about to see a quick scene um, where Sherika's mom, Cynthia, is just talking about Brenda, you know, and, you know, what she did for her family. So let's see that real quick. She makes such an impact on my life because at the time I was strung out on heroin. I was in and out of jail. I was stealing from stores to support my habit. I was selling crack to support a heroin habit. And Brenda took my kids in as foster children in the middle of the night. And she took them all. She got through two of them first and she went back and got another one. She went back and got another one so she could keep my family together. All right, so I hope that y'all enjoyed that clip from the film. I, man, this this movie is so powerful and so near and dear to me, so special, okay? Now, one thing I wanted to mention is that we're looking for inspiring and uplifting music. So if you're an artist or if you know an artist that has a song that might be a good fit, please send it to us. Now, I have a flyer. I'm going to try to insert it. But either way, um, go ahead and check the description box uh, for the email address, where to send it. And look, the deadline for this is March 1st. I know that's around the corner. But again, if you know somebody or if you are the person with some inspiring or uplifting music, please send it to us for a chance for it to be, you know, it might be featured in this documentary. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, please send it to us. All right, y'all. So I'm still working, still getting it done. Uh, when it got me some food, dad cooked. Shout out to dad. Thank you for dinner. Got some rice and salmon croquette, y'all, with some hot sauce. Mm. Salmon croquettes always remind me of my childhood. Like, I will always be in the mood for these. I'm, I'm never tired of them. Um. I wanted to work out tonight, but I feel like I'm going to be up late just kind of working. But I will make up for it tomorrow. Like, I will. But sure, I'm going to go for a walk around noon. And I'm going to walk for about 45 minutes. I love walking around noon. It's like the perfect time of the day. Um, tomorrow, the sun is supposed to be out. No rain. It won't be cold. So tomorrow will be a good day for me to get outside, get some sun, and get some exercise. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate y'all watching. Make the best of the day. Be good to yourself, y'all. Peace. I be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot.